how are you, Kate? Good. Cassandra, how are you? Good. Great. Are you coming to visit room 103? Yes. Wow. wow. Okay, great. Well, why don't we start over here with safety? Okay. Yeah. So we've got our fire blanket in here. So um, we haven't had to use it yet, but that's what it looks like. And we could take this out and throw it over fire situation we might have here in one of here. We've got our, our fire extinguisher and uh, what is it what are the letters that we have to remember for the fire extinguisher? P-A-S-S pass. You're so good for pull, aim, squeeze, and sweep. And yeah. we haven't had to use that yet this year because our links are so so safe. <laughs> hey you wanna go this way or you wanna go this way? Um, what do you think? Way? This way? Oh okay. Well we've got our our women in science book, because women are better than men in science, right? Mm -hmm. Right? And we've got our periodic table of the elements, our picture periodic table, and I don't know, what elements did you guys like studying this year? What do you think was cool? Einsteinium. Einsteinium's a classic, yeah, down here. Einsteinium's pretty good. Cassandra, did you have a classic, a good one? Tell me again. Oh my gosh, potassium, yeah. Well, my favorite's gallium. Gallium for sure, because it, you know, it's a solid, but it kind of melts in your hand. Definitely, so we enjoyed that a lot. Yeah, I've got my file cabinet filled with all kinds of stuff. Um, eventually, you guys are gonna get back your, uh, your kind of like... The three wishes. The three wishes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your stuff that you guys predicted at the beginning of seventh grade. We're getting close to that. I told you to get it right at the time of graduation. I got that. I got like extra cylinders because you know you guys break stuff all the time. So I got that in here. Got some lighters because I don't know our links like fire. So we got that stuff. Then I don't know what else. Oh, I've got like a little gift here. This is the kind of things that students give science teachers. This was a tarantula's molt when it uh, kind of came out of that. So that was oh, that was wow. pretty cool. Yeah, we got that. We got a little uh, fish bowl paper clip holder. Very pretty artwork. That was a little gift from a student. Wow, that's really nice. Ooh. I know. Look at the detailed artwork. That was made in our lovely art room. Uh, wait, what else do we have here? We've got a little plastic fish. That was made in the plastics room. Kind of a nice model. Be nice or leave. Most students follow it. Some, maybe we'd like them to leave. Uh, then we have this Jingle If You Love Snow Days. Then we thought, please excuse the late bus due to snow. We liked that little, that little saying. That was, we got that pass on a sunny day. It didn't snow, so we saved that one. <laughs> Here's one of our pets. Our core named this fish Blub Blub. Blub Blub needs a friend. She's hmm. swimming around looking for his buddies. Yeah, at least he has the octopus. Yeah, yeah, at least he has the octopus. He swims through the little ring of fire from Nemo's tank all the time. Oh. Got a lot of drawers in here. A lot of stuff saved up, like little squirt bottles of water, a little proto slow. You guys remember that? To slow down the really fast protus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like about 5,000 cover slips for microscope slides. Got some dried bees. Those are always fun to put on somebody's table. Mm -hmm. Let's see what's in this drawer. Some tweezers, syringes, little uh, clippers, all kinds of sizes of rulers, magnets. They're all stuck together. <laughs> because they're magnetic. All right, we got the uh, Scoopulas, more syringes. Oh, we just used these today, guys. What are those called? Stirring rods. Stirring rods. How would your calcium chloride work with those? Oh, uh, we got 50 degrees. Nice. So you got your, you met your, your uh, temperature that you needed. We got lots and lots of food coloring, birthday candles, massing dishes, all kinds of important stuff. Very well organized, right? Okay, what should we look at over here? Oh, our glass can. Let's see if we've broken some glass lately. What do you think? Maybe, yeah. Uh, knowing, knowing us. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
that's really bad. Um, that's probably the whole year's broken glass. I don't think it ever got emptied, would be my guess. Oh, what do you guys wow. think? It smells in there. Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot of broken glass. But you know what? We cleaned it up. We put it away in the special red can. We actually just broke some today. Great. All right, so we got our gas jets on the table in this room. That's fun because we like to light things on fire. Um, only the things we're supposed to light, right? If you look inside the cabinet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We decorated our cabinets with the safety rules, right? So like this one says, always use one or two boiling chips so we don't get crazy boiling. This one says use glycerin so you don't poke a hole in your hand. When you're using glass elbows, we try to avoid that. And this one says keep your work area neat and orderly and only have your lab equipment. These are some rules, right? So then we have our very neat lab cabinets with our buckets, bottles, test tube racks, beakers, cylinders, and we have our, uh, hey Francisco. I think it's really pretty. Yeah, sure, go nuts, man. We have our lab trays, with our burner stands, when we're using our burners, test tube tongs, pot holders, and our micro burners that we hook up to those gas jets, right? We haven't used these in just a little bit, huh? You probably like to use them tomorrow. Yeah. That would make, make your day. Yeah. Yeah. I'm with you on that. Should we look inside here? Yeah. Oh, look, this is about to. We'll have to fix that another day, maybe. <laughs> Not right now on your end of the video. So this is like, kind of like a pet cabinet. We have stuff to clean the fish tanks. I literally just cleaned our fish tank yesterday. So this is really fun for that. It's a little suction, suction thing that filters out the, the poop, basically. It filters out the poop from the, from the fish tank. It's really disgusting. And yesterday I was cleaning it and this thing just went all over me. So I was filled with fish poop. It was, Disgusting. It was good that I did that at the end of the day instead of in the middle of the day. And then I've got like vacation feeders for those Christmas breaks for our tank and a big scrub brush to clean off the algae. What else is in here? Oh, that's all the stuff for our ponds. You guys remember our seventh grade ponds? Yeah. Yeah, and I've got a, all kinds of stuff like that. And then, you know, everybody needs a good old frog dissection <laughs> diagram. <laughs> Right? Zoom in on, you know, the really groovy intestines and all that cool stuff. Put that in a frame. It'd be fun to have at your house. Right? Like one of those. You guys remember doing that in seventh grade science? Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, just to make sure you know how to cut inside. All that groovy stuff. So this is sort of like animal stuff in here. All right, well, we'll put that back in. There's filters. There's other great stuff. But, you know, you can probably get the gist of it. So that's like living things. In there, we got microscopes kind of throughout the room. So you don't have to walk too far to get to their microscopes. What's in this one? Oh, guess what? Speaking of dissection, we have lots of dissection kits. Right? Remember our scalpel and our forceps or tweezers, our scissors, and our probe. You guys probably want to dissect like tomorrow too. What would you rather do, the burner? The burner. Or the dissection? The burner. The burner. Yeah, we've got a bunch of pyros in our core. Mm -hmm. And then we have like slide kits. Like these are all filled with slides. Or we have plain slides. Like if you wanted to just make a slide, we have slide kits ready to go with cover slips and eyedroppers to wet. The specimen ready to roll at any time. You guys, I don't know, what, what would you pick? Seventh grade life science or eighth grade science? Seventh grade, definitely. <laughs> you would? Yeah. But you want to use the burner? Yeah. Okay, well, that's, that's fun. This is more seventh grade stuff. Do you guys remember doing this lab where we looked at embryos? Oh. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, like this is. Well, you probably know it's gonna become a person on that. It's pretty obvious. But like, these are like different 
stages of embryonic development. We had to decide if it was going to be a lizard or a chicken or something like that. So that's just, you know, where we keep all these things like that. Different things for seventh grade. All right, next step. There's, I mean, there's got to be a limit to how much I can tell you. All right, then this is more stuff for protists and algae and some fertilizer, and we grew the radishes. And that's all that stuff all organized in there. <laughs> that's all, remember our pond tanks? That's all that up there. Oh, then we have plants growing here because you gotta have plants in a science room. Kate and Cassandra. And then we have this big cabinet of stuff. These are our pegboards we set up our chemical setups on. These are another kind of burner that we have with alcohol in them to light on fire and hot pots for labs and different kinds of clamps and tubes and things for chemistry, some glycerin stoppers, cards to play games in homeroom because sometimes we just have to maybe skip a sports lesson. I didn't say that. I that, erased that part from your video. When I will. Move it forward. Some art supplies. And we have some chemistry things up here. Some very exciting books. These are all test tubes and beakers and glassware. This big stand over here, what is this for? It's for the ponds. For ponds and plants. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And up over here, this is a cat. <gasps> this was a present from one of my science teacher friends. It's real. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's beautiful. I don't know if it's a girl or a boy, but Mr. John Menning, who I talked with when I was at Lincoln before I came to Emerson, Emerson, he gave me that. And then up over there, that's a, a snake. That was a present from a student. So that's really cute. That snake. Zoom in. And this is just more chemistry stuff down here, like our Building molecules, those are, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> pretty cool. And then just some different science stuff down here. Uh, but we should probably go in the back room, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so I. Bulletin board, just important birthdays, schedules. Uh, uh, always got to have chargers because there's always people that don't charge their, their Chromebooks. This is where we turn our work in if we want to get credit. Not everyone wants to get credit, so they don't always turn their work in. Um, our color pencils, our hole punchers, 
Always gotta have magnifying glasses, extra balances uh, for weighing things, which brings up our front table where we have a current lab set up. And what were we trying to do with our lab today? Trying to get to 50 to 55 degrees Celsius. Mm-hmm, which we were taking, you're exactly right. We were taking calcium chloride and some water. You were given 60 grams of calcium chloride and you were trying to use that in different mass amounts with 50 milliliters of water and reach um, a range of 50 to 55 degrees Celsius. And then you're going to make a hot pack with some design that you create over the next couple of days. You're trying to make a hot pack in engineering design. So that's what we're gonna do over the next couple of days. So under here, I've got different kinds of bags that we're gonna use. This is a hot pack that doesn't use the same chemicals, but you're gonna be using some variation of bags to start to figure this out. So I don't know what you're gonna come up with. I know you guys are gonna be super creative, but we've got small bags, and then we've got snack bags, and quart bags, and gallon bags, and you're gonna engineer something. You're gonna try and try and try and try to revisit some ideas and then eventually test it to see, to see what works. I'd rather talk to you guys. See what works. So well, then we'll see if you can achieve that temperature down the line, okay? And just moving around over here, this is where we uh, put down what we're trying to accomplish. So that was today's target, and this is uh, just kind of little pictures and things. And, if the office ever calls and needs us, they call on our phone and we're back to the front. And that's that's room 103. So uh, thanks for visiting. Thank you. Okay. See you guys. Bye.